Now, if you haven't heard about the controversy surrounding John MacArthur and a woman by the name of Eileen Gray, I want to go ahead and explain that to you with this video. Now, the controversy stems from John MacArthur and Grace Community Church excommunicating a woman by the name of Eileen Gray, who was actually a staff member of the church. Now, they did this because she would not take back her abusive husband. Now, Julie Royce, who is an avid God-hating woman, and she does this by attacking men of God like John MacArthur, all the time and she's basically the female version of service christie if you don't know who he is he's a quote unquote christian youtuber who attacks reformed biblical men of god um and that's all he does now this incident happened almost 20 years ago okay and she's digging it up and it's for what reason what reason other than to tear down men of god for your own pleasure ultimately because satan is working through you to attack god Okay, and this is how this is how he works. He works through people who claim to be Christians and those people attack men of God and try to bring them down with issues that happened almost 20 years ago. Okay. Now the reason all this is so controversial is because Eileen's husband, David Gray, was a close friend of John MacArthur, along with being on the staff at Grace Community Church. Now David was accused of child abuse and or molestation years ago. But the staff at Grace Community Church have made a statement regarding that, claiming that it was under false pretense. Now, this is a quote from the article. Butler has defended Grace Community Church's treatment of Eileen Gray and called it biblical. He has also asserted that David Gray is innocent and that Eileen's children accused Gray of molestation or molesting them only after seeking or seeing a therapist and recovering repressed memories. Now, the reason this has become a problem is because Eileen went against the church and decided to divorce David. Now, the question remains, was that biblical? What does the Bible say about divorce and under what grounds is it permitted in Scripture? That is the question, and that's what we need to deal with. Now, the Bible gives two clear grounds for divorce. The first one being sexual immorality. And that's found in Matthew 5, 32. It's also found in Matthew 19, 9. And let's be clear, the Bible does not give place for the woman to divorce her husband, but for the husband to divorce his wife. And the second reason is abandonment by an unbeliever. That's found in 1 Corinthians 7.15. Let's not forget that in most, the most important truth in all of this is that God hates divorce. Malachi 2.16. And so if a husband is abusive, a wife should seek temporary separation over divorce. Okay. Now, I know in this culture, women don't like to hear that. They don't like to hear that they can't divorce their husbands or that it's not appropriate to divorce their husband if he's abusive or if he's a jerk or whatever. Um, but what has happened because of that is this demonic government has created something called or a system called no fault divorce by where a woman can divorce their husband for any reason and in doing so can obtain their husband's resources. I mean, all you have to do is look at any family court and you see who the state, who, which, whose side the state is on. Okay, the state is always against the man, and that's by design. Okay, and it's no wonder that 82% of divorces in this country are followed by women. Okay, so you think just maybe God knew what he was doing, the way he ordered things and designed things. So I will be going ahead and placing the link to this article in the description, and I will update you guys if anything else breaks on this. Thank you for listening.